We've seen people mocked for misspelling a word, for mispronouncing something, for forgetting a name. Often mocking people is for petty reasons, but in a following, it's absolutely legitimate because this has to be the greatest boneheaded gaffe in the history of news broadcasting. Um, somebody tweeted recently that um, actually with the money he spent, he could have given every American a million dollars. I've got it. Let's put it up yeah. on the screen. It, when I read it uh, tonight on social media, it kind of all became clear. Bloomberg spent $500 million on ads, U.S. population $327 million. Uh, don't tell us if you're ahead of us on the math. He could have given each American $1 million and have had lunch money left over. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's true. It's disturbing. It does. It does suggest, you know, what we're talking about here, which is there, there's too much money in politics. Um, a lot of the mocking has been focused on the math. Now, obviously, the math is horrible, but I think the biggest thing is the complete lack of common sense. I mean, seriously, you're thinking a million dollars for every United States citizen, every child and every adult Every citizen of every major city of all 50 states, a million dollars for every single person and nothing clicked in your brain thinking something isn't right. That is just a, <laughs> a crazy, insane amount of money. Obviously, that's not right. Now, obviously, the math is horrible. Now, if it was $500 million dollars and the population of the country was 327 people, then it would be a million dollars a person with money left over. But obviously, it's not a population of 327. It's a population of 327 million. A little bit of a difference. But the math is horrible. The lack of common sense, to me, is the absolute worst thing about this gaffe. My gosh. Man, <laughs> pretty amazing. Anyway, that's my take on it. Please share yours. This is Jim Wall. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Cisco, do we have to leave all our good friends now? Only until next time, Pancho. Adios, amigos. <laughs>